So a full week ago, the WandaVision season finale premiered. I got to review that episode. But right now, I am going to rank all nine WandaVision episodes from the baddest to the raddest. Here's my thoughts. Hello, everybody. My name is Zachary Movie Chat, and I love movies and TV shows. And obviously, one of my favorite movie franchises is the MCU. So, making a MCU TV show based off Wanda and Vision in a sitcom sounded very intriguing to me, and the trailers all looked good, and I was really, really excited, and the series ended, really, really liked it. So, real quick, before you get started, I'm sorry if you hear, rawr, rawr, my dog is going crazy because he heard something outside, so do not mind that. Also, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What was your ranking of WandaVision episodes? This is just my list. I know these episodes are going to be very controversial because there's two kind of people, and I'll say that in just a moment. But make sure to do all those things. And with that said, here we go. Last place, place nine, part nine, is episode one. Yes, the first episode is my least favorite. Now, this episode and the next episode, you guys are going to see that these... First two episodes, yes, the next one is episode two. I'll talk about that in a minute. They, there's two types of people. The people are, they liked, they thought the mystery was very intriguing, but when we got to the reveal, they found it to be boring. Or that they thought the reveals were good and the mystery was just too much for them. Me, probably my family belongs in the second category, especially my dad. Because I just didn't really dig these first two episodes. Now, this one was just a sitcom, and obviously these two leads do an amazing job in the sitcom. But it's just not really intriguing until that final scene, and then it finally gets intriguing, but it's more like a, what? And not really a, whoa, that's awesome. So, I just found this episode to be very disappointing. Now, the sitcom was very, very good. The sitcom apps aspects were very, very well done. I just didn't find this one or the next episode intriguing, and that brings us to episode 8, episode 2. Now, obviously, did enjoy this more after I watched them um, explained and then watched the episodes again. But these first two episodes, they were more sitcom. Now, this one takes up the sitcom to the extreme. I said before in my reviews for both of these episodes that the sitcom part is the best part of these first two episodes. It, it is pretty funny, and... These two Avengers are very well done. And this one really, really does that well. But the thing is, they added a lot of weird stuff in there. And again, it wasn't like, whoa, that's awesome! It's more like, eh, what? what's going on? And I just wasn't a, the biggest fan of this particular thing. And that's why these two episodes are in last place. Let's go on to something else. Number seven is episode six, the Halloween Spooktacular. I I liked it, especially the ending. The ending had like this mega cliffhanger, and I was like, whoa, that's awesome. I cannot wait to see the next episode. But, but the thing is... The rest of the episode wasn't very good. Start off with the thing with Vision. That seemed kind of boring. It seemed like they showed too much in the trailer. And so that part, it was a little boring for me. And I didn't, wasn't really digging and enjoying myself in that moment. So I found really bored. And then the whole thing with Pietro. And it's it's okay. Um, It just seems like... It just seems like a sitcom to explain how Vision's getting there and then the twins' powers. And it's not all that powerful. It's not that great of an episode. It's pretty mediocre until the final reveals. So it can't be too low on my list. It is in the bottom three on my list. But I just don't really know what to say about this episode. It just felt surprisingly mediocre to me. Next up in sixth place is episode nine. A very mediocre ending to the show. which I surprisingly felt very disappointed. Now, it does wrap it up in a nice little bow. Very, very good bow. Really tight, very 
very nice bow. I'm just kidding. But it, it does wrap it up in a nice bow, and that really works for me, how the show ended. The thing with the two visions fighting is pretty nice. But the whole thing is, the finale is just a final action sequence through the whole film. The whole, I mean, the show. The whole show is very magnificent, smart, very smart, smartly made. And then they just filmed it out with an action sequence. And for a person who was like, that's very smart. It's kind of disappointing just seeing this big action sequence. Wanda doesn't even apologize to the people at the end. And that is really, really surprisingly bad negative for me. And the two post credit scenes, they set up for more. But for a finale, I found it to be extremely mediocre. Fifth place is episode seven. Another episode like episode six, where I found it to be pretty mediocre. Except upon th further reflection and realizing that this was the Office Space episode, I loved it. Office, one of my favorite shows of all time. I don't watch it that much, but when I do, I love it. This episode, it was kind of mediocre throughout the whole thing with, like, Vision coming back in. And it just didn't really pop out in the end. I did think the final, the little twist at the end that they did at the episode was very, very clever. With Wanda, I mean, Agnes being Agatha Harkness, even though everyone pretty much figured it out by then, it still did really good. And obviously, Agatha all along, that was so good. Very, very, very great song. And even though I wasn't a big fan of the twist, the song was really great as well. And I kind of did dig Wanda's arc in the, in the episode. Her, like, not really liking anyone, and I was laughing, but overall, a kind of mediocre episode, again, maybe I was just feeling a little down to out on the show, but it did hit fifth place, so obviously I could not hate it. Number four is episode four, the episode where we get the reveals, now the first time I watched it, didn't really like it that much, it was kind of like feeling like this montage episode, then I watched it again by myself, then in my review, said it was a really good episode, really great episode, how our characters, we are the finally figuring out. We get Randall Park, James Wu, I think that's his name. Or we get the, um, or we get Kat Dennings back as Darcy Lewis. That was very enjoyable to see them on screen for the first time since Ant-Man and the Wasp and Thor The Dark World. And... Seriously, though, the whole thing kind of felt like a montage, and I wasn't a really big fan of that. But after watching it several times, because I did watch it a third time, because I had to watch it with my family, I kind of pretty much laid out all the details, and it's a really great episode, really great reveals that we get, and these characters are very likable. Kicking into the top three, episode five. Um brilliant, brilliant episode, brilliant writing, Vision and Wanda's argument in the end, every time I watch it, I just want to see it again, I'm like, get him, and it's so good, something I actually laid in bed that night, and I was like, please, Wanda, please, because I'm weird like that, I lay in my bed, and then I have dreams about the things I just watched, and how they'd fix it, but whatever, not talking about that, I did really, really enjoy this episode, the way they banter back and forth, kind of the reveals we get along the way. Wanda coming out and throwing the helicopter, that was very nice as well. This is a very solid episode with really great emotions and really excellent dialogue. This is essentially a great episode. The twins, I did find the little kids to be really annoying. And then when they got to the real size that they were, they, they did a really good job throughout the whole show, so I can't really negative on that. But overall, very, very, very great episode. And then number two, episode three, my favorite episode for the longest time until our next episode we're going to talk about. I really like this episode, mainly because the throughout the whole film, I mean, show so far, I wasn't really liking it. And then the end reveals, you're like, wow, and I was loving it. That ending was so good. It really, really gets me hyped up for what the future of the show had, even though the future of the show wasn't that good. Or it was good, it wasn't that great. But this part 
really, this part in the show really, really did a lot to win me back over. Now, rewatching it, it didn't really have a lot of great aspects. I, it just has to be here on number two because it's what when, when, yeah, when is a word. My heart over to the show. But first place, episode eight, the show, the episode with so much emotions as she goes back and revisits her life. I'm not kidding. There's three parts in this episode where I almost cried. No, only two. No, three. When she was sitting on the bed talking to Vision, when she was a little kid, and when uh, when she saw Vision and saw the house, it was so emotional. And the show could really kick up emotions. Nothing else in the MCU really gave me emotions. But this one really did. This one was so great. Best episode, Agatha taking her through the past. That's just brilliant, brilliant. It really got me hyped up for the finale, which we already discussed did not live up to my expectations. But this episode holds the most emotions, the most everything. Answered a lot of answers that I... Answered a lot of questions that I had. So it's in number one. But anyways, that was my ranking of all nine WandaVision episodes. Share your ranking down below while you subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell. This has been a Zachary Movie Chat production. I am going to go see Raya and the Last Dragon tomorrow. I can't wait. It's going to be the best Disney movie ever. I think it will. And I can't watch Zack Snyder's Justice League this weekend. I'm going to a church retreat to praise the Lord. And it's going to be so fun. So can't really do that. I stopped a review yesterday, then I watched Earwig and the Witch, so stay tuned for those reviews. I have a lot of things. Falcon of the Winter Soldier comes out this Friday. I'm probably going to watch it late Sunday night. Very hyped for that one. But anyway, stay tuned for all of those videos. This has been a Zachary Movie Chat production. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and comment down below. What was your ranking of all nine WandaVision episodes? And with that said, this has been a Zachary Movie Chat production. Peace out. Oh yeah, subscribe to Join the Nerd Army. Peace out.